The extremist wing of the anti-choice movement is serious and it is deadly. Frustrated and outflanked by the pro-choice movement and the massive support for abortion rights among the American people, these violent fanatics seek to deny women their right to reproductive choice. They have belied their own pro-life stance over and over and over again. This is an orchestrated, strategic campaign of domestic terror. Good evening. It was all too familiar. An anti-abortion activist laying in wait outside a clinic, then opening fire, killing in the name of life. Abortionists are murderers. Murderers should be executed. I have been selected by God to be a liberator of unborn children from death. Pray that this family will either be converted to God or that calamity will strike him. Violence is an acceptable way to stop the violence inside the clinics, inside the womb. We pray for the salvation or the death of abortionists, and some of us do more than pray, actually go out and kill them. Would you, you murder like an abortion doctor if you had the gun in your hand? No, I would not murder him, but I would kill him. It's going to be like a war, a holy war, and people are going to get hurt. We'll have chaos. We'll have an ocean of blood. Death is a message that people understand. It didn't start with murder. Local officials are convinced the second bomb was aimed at police. Since 1977, abortion clinics have been the target of violence. There have been thousands of incidents, including blockades, invasions, chemical attacks, arsons, bombings, death threats, and shootings. In 1982, men calling themselves the Army of God kidnapped Dr. Hector Zavallis of Granite City, Illinois, and his wife at gunpoint, and held them for more than a week. In 1991, Claudia Gilmore was confronted by a masked man wielding a sawed-off shotgun. He entered the abortion clinic where she worked in Springfield, Missouri. Gilmore was shot in the back and paralyzed. It would be more than three years before the media reported the shooting as an incident of anti-abortion violence. The assailant has never been caught. In August 1993, Dr. George Tiller of Wichita, Kansas, was shot five times at point-blank range. While he did survive, that was certainly not the intention of his attacker. Earlier that year in March, Dr. David Gunn had been murdered, shot in the back outside a woman's health clinic in Pensacola, Florida. Dr. John Bayard Britton, who took over the practice of the murdered Dr. Gunn, is shown here with his bulletproof vest 